Hi, welcome to Simply Nash Media. My name is Sam, and today we have the new QNAP 1282. Now this particular model is the i5 with 16 gigs of RAM. Now the 16 gigs of RAM is an optional upgrade. Standard is usually 8. You'll give me just a moment here. We'll go ahead and work through the unboxing of this. Alright, so now we're going to unbox the device. We'll go ahead and open up the box just by pulling the safety flap out. We can pick out the top of the box. We have another safety flap. And then you'll actually expose the unit itself. Now they've hidden some stuff in here under the styrofoam. So what you want to do is first pull this out of the way. This is just the initial kind of safety top cover here. And you'll have the accessories or, sorry, the accessories back. And you'll also have a power cord. Now, just for the safety of the unit for the unboxing, what you want to do is go ahead and put this back in here. And then as you go to take the unit out of the box, as you sit it on its side, you can hold the unit stationary with your hand and just flip the box over. That's to not damage the unit. And what you'll do is go ahead and pick the box up. There's the nest. Upside down, but there it is. You'll give me just a few moments here. We'll go ahead and finish unwrapping this one, and we'll be right back. All right, so now that we've got this unit unpackaged, first thing that you'll notice is this is not your typical NAS. This is a pretty big unit. Um, it's not the traditional 12 bay that everybody's used to. It's not a rack mount, but it's not as big as some of the other desk units that you've seen out there in the world. Um, this particular one, it also has four SSD slots, or SSD trays. And you'll also have your eight HDD trays as well. Now, one thing that you'll definitely notice about these trays, they are screwless. There are no screws in these at all that you'll have to put into them. Basically, all you'll have to do is insert your drive and it'll snap in with these little lock tabs that are here on the side. Now, the HDD drive or the HDD trays are very similar, but there's an extra step here. You'll notice also there are holes here, but they're not necessary. If you have side mounted or side screws for the drives, all you'd have to do is simply pull these tabs off and then basically put your drive in and then put these lock tabs back in place. These will actually hold the drive. Pretty simple. No additional hardware to lose, nothing else you have to deal with. Pretty much uh, plug and play for the most part. Now on the front of the unit also, you have some features that are fairly common, pretty simple. Some stuff that you may recall from other devices like the X53 series. Uh, you'll have the controls for your LCD screen here. You'll have your power button over on this side and your one-touch copy for the USB. On the back of the unit, you'll notice that there's a lot more back here. You have the three fans. Now these are all running on the smart fan technology. Uh, so they try to be a lot more quiet than some of the other, uh, other models out there. <clears throat> Plus you'll also have your, your power port, your on and off switch for the, the power supply itself. You'll also have two built-in speakers. You'll have three HDMI connectors. Now this one here is a HDMI 2.0. And these two are HDMI 1B, 1.4B, excuse me. Uh, they also have four 1 gig Ethernet ports, four USB 3.0s, an audio port, and you'll also have two mic jacks as well for audio input. And then toward the top of the unit, you'll have three open, well, four spots. One of these is left blank and typically isn't used um, unless you have the, the 1282T model, which has the Thunderbolt, uh, but typically, You'll have uh, one 10 gig Ethernet or slash 40 Ethernet uh, adapter slot. Uh, then you'll also have one PCIe slot for the NVMe, uh, the SSD systems there. And you'll also have an additional here for one AMD Radeon R7 card. And you'll give us just an extra moment here. Go ahead and flip this one back around and then we'll talk a little bit more about the features of the unit itself. All right, so now that we've covered some of the external features of this device, let's talk about the accessories pack. Of course, as you recall, as we were unboxing the, the device itself, 
we had power cord for the unit. Uh, and we also had this accessories pack. Inside this accessories pack, uh, some of the usual stuff here. Uh, you'll have your screws for installing the SSDs into the HDD drive trays. You'll also have two heat sinks in the mounting screws for the M.2 uh, memory boards if you want to put those in. You'll also have four Ethernet cords in here. Help if I can grab them all. See, you've got all four of those to put the system into your network. Then you have the remote for the unit. And then you have the QNAP quick start guide. Now that we've covered some of the, the features and the components of the, the accessories pack as well, uh, let's talk about some of the features of this unit itself. Now, this particular unit, uh, it does have the option for the 16 gigs of RAM, where standard is 18. Um, it also comes with the 6th generation Intel processors, uh, whether that be an i7, i5, or i3. Uh, and you'll also have the option for a 450 watt power supply for the unit. This way you can run that R7 graphics card a lot easier. And this unit also has a, another counterpart that is going to be the 1282T. Now if you'd like to check out on that video, just click the link to my left. You can see that one come in a later video series here. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email at sales at simplynas.com or give us a call at 407-960-4690. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to stay up to date with the latest new videos we have coming out, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, you can leave us a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.